are making a felted mushroom pillow. This is an Amanita. And we had a chanterelle, which is the orange one, and a bolete, which my granddaughter's doing. I'm Lillian Tullis. I'm felting a bolete. It's kind of a funny looking bolete. <laughs> I'm Cornelia Cho. I'm actually a pediatrician by profession. Um, and I'm the president of the Mushroom Club of Georgia in Atlanta. As my husband could tell you, he used the word focus, but he meant obsession. <laughs> that's a pile of wool roving there that's got a lot of different colors in it. It's wool after it's been um, cleaned and carded, and it's ready for spinning or for doing this kind of process, needle felting. You can do this dry needle felting with a barbed needle that tangles the fibers yeah. so that they basically, you know, it feels like the, more like the felt that you cut up in grade school. What I had people doing here so that it's a lot safer is this is a tool that you can see it has all those needles in it and they punch up and down with the tool. My name is Deborah Shankland and I'm here from uh, just outside the Cleveland area, Ohio. That is kind of satisfying. Uh, Cornelia likened it to popping bubble wrap, which I love to do. So there is that kind of tactile and oral thing that uh, makes it fun. Yeah, this is great fun.